Our equine wanderings now take us to the outskirts of the Welsh town of Bridgend to meet the working horses of the Mounted Division of South Wales Police. They've played a pivotal part in everyday law enforcement since 1993 and, along with their dedicated handlers, remain a force to be reckoned with. I've been a full-time member of the Mounted Unit now since February 2023. Um, before that I was a reserve for about four and a half years. South Wales Police, we're the only police force within Wales that has a mounted unit and at present there's only five full-time officers working here so it, it is kind of special to be part of. I've always wanted to work with horses full stop. Um, it's been a passion since I was young, I've been riding for about 30 years. I bought my own horse, learned more from her I think than I've ever learned from anything in my life. I think drawing on um, the horse world as well as the policing world, as this role merges the two, um, is definitely beneficial. People do come into this section with no prior experience of horses and to me they've got an enormous amount to learn very, very quickly. Um, but I feel far more confident with my decision making um, because I've got years and years of experience with horses behind me. The purpose of the mounted unit is so that we can have officers deployed on horseback, which might seem old fashioned um, in a lot of ways, but we can get horses places where cars can't go. Um, we can engage with people who wouldn't necessarily speak to police officers in a vehicle. Um, we break down barriers basically, so community events, public patrols, school visits, we do a lot of the educational side of things, a lot of the, the hearts and minds kind of policing, but also in public order situations, this is where the boys really shine. We look for the slightly heavier breeds, uh, the larger breeds. Our guidelines at the moment for uh, bringing in new horses is they need to be between 16.2, hands high, and uh, 18 ideally, although one of our boys is 18.1. We tend to go for Irish draft type breeds. We've got a full Clydesdale, uh, we've got a Shire cross thoroughbred. Um, so anything that's um, got that, what do they say, uh, leg in each corner. Horses are prey animals, fight or flight. Uh, and we need to train them to be calm and confident in situations where you wouldn't necessarily put a horse. And then if we say go, they know that they can go safely and we'll look after them. I have a team of eight animal welfare officers um, and they take care of the horses here. And then we also have our mounted officers of which we have six at the moment um, and they work out on patrol. Um, so my team are made of civilian um, police staff. We'll do all yard duties with them from sort of morning through to the evening, um, from mucking out, um, checking for any injuries, cuts, scrapes, anything that might have occurred overnight, their temperatures and things. So we keep up to date with all their temperatures um, to find their baseline. So if there's anyone feeling a little bit under weather, we can pick up that straight away um, through to sort of the exercise and day to day care to get them ready then to go out and do their job as police horses and we put the animal welfare um, at the top of that list of priorities. Um, without a fit and healthy horse, we just simply wouldn't be able to do the job that we do. They're generally shod every five weeks, but we do check them on a weekly basis. Because of the type of work they do, they wear through their shoes quite quickly, so you can get some loose shoes, um, depending on their workload. Um, so we check them every week, just to uh, make sure they're nice and tight, the shoes. I think a lot of the bond is created with handling them on the yard. I like to spend a lot of time with them on foot in the stables. Uh, for example, Max is one of our old fellows. He's the itchiest horse in the world and if you scratch his itchy places, you're a friend for life. And each, each horse has their own little quirks and to get to know them in that kind of way as their own personalities, I think really builds that bond with them. You're not shy, are you? You're not shy. This is Police Horse Chai, who is one of our remounts, which is a horse in training. So we've set up today uh, what we call some nuisance work. So this is a safe, controlled environment for our horses to work in, and items that are laid out around the school, and some noises that we have as well, for example, the drum, whistles, we've even got a vuvuzela as well. They're just items that we see out and about at various events, and also out on the streets. There's certain things, like there's a mattress in here now. We see them all the time down back alleys, certain things in people's gardens, and obviously different things for our horses to walk over, as we always have to ask them to go over different surfaces when we're out and about also. Yeah, 
We want to know that our horses are going to be bold horses, they're going to be strong, they're going to be brave. We also like them to be um, sort of quite, not quiet, but patient. There's a lot of our work that is quite monotonous, a lot of standing around, so they have to be quite relaxed as well. It's uh, an exception then if they cover all these areas, but if they can be friendly too, that is great because we are like a magnet for the public. We patrol 24-7, so we're out every day on the horses, regardless as to whether we've got a big event in the city centre. Rather than a, um, a panda car sort of like driving down the road en route to a call, we tend to do things slow time, so we can patrol an area, and it's just nice community policing. We can afford that time then to stop, chat to people, and, uh, and find out what's going on in the areas. Oh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? This is Hamilton. Hello, Hamilton. How are you, darling? Horses are a great barrier breaker um, and you get people, you can see them a little way away uh, looking at the horses and you're like, do you want to come and have a look? And then, then they'll come up, they'll approach. They're delighted that they're allowed to, to stroke the animals, um, interact with them and then that's when we, we sort of engage in a, a bit of a conversation. So yeah, they're a big draw. I'm grateful and proud, extremely proud to be part of something that I, I feel is very, very special. As a horse lover, as, a, as a, a police officer, I think the two things coming together are very, very, still very, very valid in, in modern policing.